repelling guide as requested by donators and you by liking the how to pick guide reader. Side note, I'll be using examples mostly on the consulate, just because the map is played very heavily when repelling. The fun part. Let's start off with a question and please answer down in the comment section before watching this whole video out. When you're fighting against the upside down repel player, how much of your body can he see you whilst you cannot see him? And let's say that you're standing. Before I give you the answer, I want to tell you that repelling upside down is usually always recommended thing to do. However, it is not as powerful as most people think it is. Long story short, it used to be heavily broken, but it was patched several seasons ago. Check the angled guide video in the description. Here you can see what repelled guy can see, versus someone that is standing. Now the defender is crouching. And finally, he's proning. It is very important to know what you can see while repelling before they can see you. This is also very important when it comes to play against the repelled player which will they get back later on. Since we all know now the angles on both perspectives, let's talk about the repelling. Have you ever noticed these hooks randomly put by the roof? Let me tell you, they are not random, they are exactly above a window. Sure, on cafe it is pretty much easy to find the cocktail window out of the three windows, but on the maps like Consulate, how many times did you have to restart the repel when trying to get on the toilet's second floor window? Or the paper window? Just be aware that these hooks are even for the first floor windows, so don't mess that up. For instance, these two hooks are there for the two Z windows and the toilet window. The benefit of repelling is that you can pick how you want to enter in a gunfight and do it in the motion. Sure, the defender can approximately know from where you will come from, unless there are multiple windows like on the CO windows on the bank, that are one next to each other. Or if there are windows separated like on Oregon's D3. Usually the repel players will be by any of the four corners of the window. And that is why sometimes it's simply better to be on the side of the window, like Pangu will be on the following clip. <laughs> oh no, my lord. Out. Yeah, he runs up. Okay. I got Nishin. Can you plant Nomad? Or Ma oh, sorry, Maverick? You just plant the desk right there. No below. Also, in this spot, you can see how I am partially covered from the run out that could happen from the lobby double doors or south balcony. Generally talking, when you're repelling, you want to keep moving unless you're on the side of the window, and we will talk about that later. You want to abuse that you can be 100% precise with just 5 to 6 pixels of your head being visible whilst moving. You can see that happening on the following Pro League clip done by Nomad. There's a lot for these three to be able to try and do here. Alright, Gun Flamer will be taken out, Runa. But he's being covered by Nello. Be aware of the fact that that happened. Head is going to be taken off though, but a mission instantly traded out. Before when to repel upside down versus when to repel normal and when to be on the side of the windows and not on the corner, repelling is extremely hard to master. You need to know how does the room look like, as well as where to expect the defenders. You also have to pre-fire, and pre-fire a lot of the spots. And why you should be pre-firing more when repelling than anywhere else? Because when you have 5 to 6 bullets left, you can go to a safe corner and reload it when you're repelling. Note that I purposely said 5 to 6 bullets, because you still want to be able to kill if a defender will vault over the window whilst you're repelling. The final thing you need to understand before even playing repel 
is how important that position is. Positions like on the bank CEO, back there, yep, are extremely important for attackers. And you can even expect a monkey jump out from one of the CO and the hallway windows for a retrade. We will go back to the console window example. Because if you're repelling there, you can be run out from the piano windows, console windows, as well as the second floor toilet windows. Let's go to a newer example, cafe. You can expect to be jump out from the piano windows when repelling on the white hallway windows. Or you can be pushed from the garage below, which is usually covered. One more example is on the coastline double window repel, against the pool and hookah. We will go back to that later. You can be run out from the blue and the pink window, office and aqua double doors. Why did I choose these examples? Because these runouts are not the first thing that you will think of. Being run out from the office when repelling on the pool's window, or run out from the piano's window when repelling on the console. These runouts are on different sides on the building you're repelling, and you need to be aware of these. It's not that hard to be caution about the window under or next to you. It is very hard to be very off about the other possible runouts. Nomad, Claymore, and just maybe Gridlock might help there. I'll talk about important repel positions after this paragraph. So. When to repel versus when to repel upside down versus when to stand the ground when possible. Repelling upside down is usually recommended than just repelling. But before everything, let's go to cafe now. When trying to repel on the piano's windows, you should start from the ground. Or if you are already on the roof, never, but never start repelling just about the window. You're exposed during that animation against any defender that might be prone in by the window, and they will kill you. We have been eliminated. This is widely used on the cocktail window as a defender, if they're expecting someone to repel there. Never ever do this, because you'll be a freebie. Additional random tip is, and since there are not many situations like this, if there is a window or two just below your window, destroy both of the window's glasses, so you can hear easier if you will be run out from these. Ok, let's say that you have secured that no one is near the window and now you have to choose whether to repel upside down or not. The first part of the video plays a huge role here. Understand what you can see versus what defender can see. First and foremost. If it is available for defenders to get close to the window, you should not be repelling upside down. This also means if you are unsure about the room, if it is clear or not. And let's say admin on consulate. You don't want to repel upside down. Now, what is the meaning of close the window? Now, what is the meaning of close the window? If you want to see the front desk on the consulate, or you want to see the console, if you will be repelling upside down, you'll be exposed on the meeting and the meeting toward the connector door. So, that will be close. In case you don't know who is at the meeting. Do you remember this position? In that position, I cannot be picked off from the meeting. And I can be way harder run out from the already said runouts. Repelling upside down is again usually recommended, but it also gives you wider range to defend yourself over the said runouts. On the left, I cannot aim further back, whereas when repelling upside down, I can. Finally, when to be on the side of the windows, as Pengu was, when you're holding passive angles, and then you can way easier pre-fire anyone while being on an unpredictable spot. To see what is holding passive angle and how to do that, check how to pick guide in the description. So when to hold top corners versus bottom corners depends on if you repel upside down or not. Also don't forget to move as Nello did in the pro match, at least for a slight bit. When you have an option to repel or to stay on the ground, it is usually better to stay on the ground. But again, not always. Taking an example on the villa by the trophy window, if you were repelling upside down, to have the same angle as if you are on the ground, You'll be too much exposed from the trophy. After this paragraph, 
I will give you some ideas and advices on how to improve your repelling. Let's see the strong go to repel spots on the sum of the league maps. On coastline, the one we have touched, pool double window, denies all the rotations over the west side of the second floor, either it be from the VIP to hookah or pool or from the Z to the aqua. This repel will allow you and your team to A. Clear this part of the map pretty instantly or B. Perform the hookah and pull execution way easier. On the consulate, we have been talking a lot about this spot and it is by the console double windows. You can use this repel for denying three other rotations back to the side for roamers if you are pushing them from the admin. You can see the spiral, the console hatch and the yellow top as well as you can destroy the sub part of the connector wall to see the meeting drop. This is a standard spot in league matches when doing the roam clear from admin. On Villa it will be definitely 90 for both of the top floor pushes. By just being there you are getting the control of the 90 which is super important position for defenders to delay the push from the study when attacking trophy and statuary but as well as the opposite when attacking aviator. Not allowing defenders to be the 90 is a must. Ok, for the final thing, it is some random tips. The most common combo when repelling is Maverick. Maverick torches the top part of the reinforced wall and then the repel person watches through it, like on the consulate example. When you're repelling upside down, defenders won't be able to see your grappling hook at all, so consider to repel upside down the moment you want to switch the position on the window. One more thing is to again not to be afraid when you have the intel. If you know that no one is in the connector on the consulate or close front desk, then you can play even a bit more open towards the long desk, as Zaronic will do in the following clip. The final thing is. When you're playing against the repel player, try to be as close to the window as possible. Reasons why were pretty much given throughout the whole video. If dealing against the repelling person upside down, crouch or even prone. And if you want to throw a drone while repelling, first throw flashes and then drones, so you can blind up the nearby defenders. Thank you for watching this video and staying with me for this long and thanks all the patrons and YouTube members for making this video available. If you want to learn all the basics and advanced things about the siege, make sure to give me a like, subscribe and click the notification bell to get all notifications from my channel. Make sure to give me feedback down in the comment section below.